Good day, Sir Blasphemy here for Sir Blasphemy's Travels. How you guys doing out there today? I hope you guys are all doing well. Kicking butt and taking names and all that good stuff. Sorry I haven't made a video in a couple of weeks. Uh, um, man, it's just been blistering hot outside, I'm sure, as you guys could imagine. I'm sure it's hot wherever you guys are at right now. It is summertime. And man, I haven't just been able to get out. It's just been too hot, like over 100 degrees everywhere, every day, it seems like. And so, I just... uh. I haven't been able to get out and make some uh, new videos for you guys, but so I thought I'd do something kind of cool today, uh, something that uh, I wanted to uh, toss out at you guys, get your thoughts on it, and uh, see what you guys think. I know a lot of us are into nostalgia and things like that, but uh, I was digging in my closet the other day, and I reached in and I said, "Oh my gosh, I still have these things. It's 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 stuff that I haven't seen in a long time," and. Uh, it's actually cassette tapes. Yeah, for those of you that don't know what a cassette tape is, it's a, uh, we used to jam music back in the day. You would stick your cassette tape into the cassette player, hit fast forward, hit rewind, you know, hit play, whatever. You'd have to wait, actually have to wait for uh, it to rewind if you wanted to hear, uh, you know, side A, for instance, side A, side B. You'd have to rewind at the beginning so you could hear the whole, um, tape all the way through and if you wanted to hear a certain song you had to sit there and keep pressing fast forward and and uh or, or rewind or whatever to get back to the song or if you wanted to hear a certain part of the song you'd have to stop it hit rewind or fast forward whatever so it was an old school way of doing things it's the way we used to jam and uh yeah today with streaming music and all that stuff you don't really have to worry about that but so i just pulled out the boxes I didn't open them up. I kind of don't remember what all I have. So we're going to rediscover them together. You're going to discover them. I'm going to rediscover them. And uh, yeah, they're just in old, uh, like old tape boxes. Look at that. So <laughs> like, like shoe boxes. I mean, not, not uh, tape boxes, but I've had these cassettes since the mid and late uh, 80s, as well as the early 90s too, as well, early mid 90s. So, yeah, it's been a long time. The boxes, you know, of course, they're newer Nike stuff. But um, when I packed them in, probably in the in early 2000s or something like that. So they've been in those boxes ever since. But my forte was heavy metal. I loved heavy metal. So that's all I ever bought. There'll be some rap albums in there, too. Some hardcore rap, I'm assuming, if I remember. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I, that was mainly it was heavy metal is what I was into. So I know that those are what those tapes have. Um or that's what the tapes are the gosh darn it that's what the music i have consists of is mainly heavy metal stuff with probably some other stuff thrown in i don't know let's see what we find here in a minute so let's discover it here let's take a look in so we're going to go to the first box here check this out guys let's go let me move this around so i decided to do this outside since it's a rare day and it's cloudy but yeah here we go <laughs> check it out so you get some overkill look at that megadeth all these tapes too just so you know there's Metallica Black album right there. <laughs> Look at that. I literally, I can actually remember when I bought this. The day of release, I bought it at a warehouse record store. The day it was released, the Black album. I went and got it. I actually, it was like a week before school started or something like that. And my mother took me to the warehouse music store to get the Metallica Black album. And there it is, guys. Look at that. Look, it's the Metallica Black album. And this is actually what I bought the day it was released right there. And all of this, this is not stuff that I went back and got or something like that. Most of this stuff was all bought when the stuff came out. So let's look through it. Let's see what we got. So I showed you overkill there. I won't go through all of them because it'll take forever. <laughs> look at that. All of this was bought. I can remember, you know, now looking at it when I bought this stuff. Look at that. All cassette there. This is an interesting story too. So, one of Megadeth's most famous albums here, Rust in Peace, right? I actually bought this album the week before it was released because the place, actually me and a buddy did. We went in and the place to where um, they sold it, I forgot the name of the place, but uh, yeah, look at that inside there. The place um, where it was sold at they accidentally put it on the shelves like a few days before it was supposed to be released. And we saw it sitting in there. So we waited for the place to open and we went in there and we bought, uh, me and my buddy went and bought our cassettes 
and uh, we were jamming this album a week before it was actually released. We went back literally the next day and they had picked them all up and put them up. So you can see here, so let's look. Um, so we got So Far So Good, So What by Megadeth. Um, there's some, you know, Iron Maiden somewhere in time. So ones I don't have cases for there. Uh, what do we got here? The the food the Fugies refugee camp. Wow. So look, there's a Crazy Town single <laughs> that has never been opened. Yeah, and there's a reason for that. But let's see. Megadeth cryptic writings. Look at that. I wish I could get all of this music onto like my laptop. So there's some recorded thing. <laughs> Spice One. See, there's some rap albums mixed in there too. Faith No More, Epic. So it's got Epic and Edge of the World. It's a single. For those of you who don't know who those are. But yeah, I mean, there's more Megadeth right there. I've got tons of Megadeth, obviously. Hidden Treasures, Megadeth. There's a Poison in there. Um, check this out. A little Metallica single, The Memory Remains. Yeah, right there with For Whom the Bell Tolls. I guess it's live or something like that. Yeah, stuff that you haven't really heard. Uh, there's Mob Deep, some rap albums. He makes in their TLC. <laughs> Look at that. And then uh, Above the Law, Black Mafia Life. There's some Scorpions here. Deadly Sting, The Mercury Years. So open that up. Check it out. Bam. So let's see here. So we've got some. Look at this. Napalm Death. Harmony Corruption right there. It's like, boom. I don't even have the case for it. It's just sitting there. But look, I've got M.O.D. <laughs> I mean, we can keep going here. Look, let's see. M.O.D. Isn't that cool, man? Cassette form. Ozzy Osbourne. Osmosis right there. Set. Blizzard of Oz. I've had this Blizzard of Oz tape. I mean, look at that thing, man. I've had this Blizzard of Oz since probably 1988. Look at the color of the cassette, man. Look at that. Isn't that wild? Side one, I don't know, Crazy Train. Flip that over. Isn't that cool? Ah, get in there. Try not to mess it up too much because then I'll have to clean it all up. But Ozzy Osbourne, Randy Rhodes Tribute. I know I've had this since the early 80s. I mean, look, it's even smudged out. But yeah, there it is. Ozzy Osbourne Tribute. That's how much love Don got. There was the day when you could hijack tapes there. Sacred Reich's right there. Prong, beg to differ. That is an old school album, dude. Right there. How cool is that? Yeah, so we'll go through here. There's no rest for the wicked. Ozzy Osbourne. It's probably worn out too. Yeah, kind of worn out. Not as bad. <laughs> Let's go through here. All right, I still got another entire box to go through. So we got the Metallica, the Garage Days. This was the 598 EP. Look at this, man. There it is. All original. You can kind of look in there. Let's see, ripping through this, let's see. Oh, Ride the Lightning, of course. Hey, you just tell, look at how old that guy is right there. That is an old tape. I guarantee you all of these still play. Look at that. The other side's almost completely rubbed off. So I can ride the lightning. Can't question my metal credentials. Terras one. Look, for there's some graph fans there. Look at that. There's all kinds of Ozzy Osbourne. Diary of a Madman. No more tears. Ten Commandments. This was like a. Uh, this was like some kind of a special release. Um, it was a collector's edition. So it's got like. Uh, just a bunch of different songs. A lot of people don't really know about this. Yeah, it was like a limited release. So got some. Got the Black Sabbath reunion tape there. That's that's later 90s there. It's later 90s, might be mid 90s, something like that. But yeah. Huh. Pantera, of course. How about Vulgar Display of Power, Cowboys from Hell. There you go. That's their original tape i got this when this album first came out and this is the only album they had out you know that was mainstream anyway and this came out there it is right there cowboys from hell boom look at the inside i need to pull out some of those but yeah you got some pantera i mean 
vulgar display, great southern trend kill. Boom. Far Beyond Driven. One of the best albums ever made right there. On tape. <laughs> How about that, man? So there's Ozzy Osbourne, some more Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, looks like we got some MOD, gross misconduct. It's crazy. All right, so let's go into there. There's Metallica Reload in there. Let's see, sorry guys, I'm not getting the camera out. Let's put this in here, stack this. So isn't that kind of wild? Let's go, let's tap into the next box here. That's crazy stuff, man. I haven't seen these tapes in years. Let's, let's sift through it. Hang on, we'll keep looking here. All right, real quick, guys, since we're kind of looking at the nostalgia of the metal, but I had to show you guys this real quick. Isn't this cool? Iron Maiden Power Slave Pop figure, man. Look, you can kind of check it out on the back. It's got the album cover. It's got Eddie right there. But isn't that cool? I actually found this at a local Walmart. So there's the Power Slave Eddie. Isn't that the coolest thing? How cool is that, dude? And then, so there's the Power Slave Eddie. I've got my little Mickey up here and stuff like that. I'm a Raiders fan. Yeah. But uh, check that out. Same Walmart, Diary of a Madman, Ozzy Osbourne. Look at that pop. Isn't that cool? So, yeah, there's the back. It's got the little album cover. I've never opened it or anything, so. But yeah, how cool is that? Just wanted to show you guys that while we're on the nostalgia wagon with the cassette tapes there. But pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're going to go into the next box. Let's check it out. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. So we even got a CD at the top. We've got Ozzy Osbourne Ultimate Sin right there. So we're gonna move that. Metallica and Justice for All. Here's a great album right here. Sepultura Arise. Look at that, man. There it is. Original. All there, man. I've had that in there a long time. Let's see. There's some great stuff I already see right now. Look. So we got a Metallica Master of Puppets. Uh, Stranger Things here as of late has put that song back in like the top 50 or something like that. It's crazy. People are just now discovering that iconic song. Um, Exodus, Fabulous Disaster. This is an awesome album, man. If you guys are out there and you don't know about Exodus and this album, dude, go get this album. Stream it. Get it on vinyl. Whatever. Whatever you gotta do. It is amazing. It's one of my favorite, uh, albums right there so let's see we've got rush right there test for echo we got the scorps again scorpions of course we're gonna have injustice for all baby i mean this tape man gosh man this thing's been with me since it first came out so this tape's been with me since 1989 um, here's another one of those limited singles um, the unforgiven two and it has the thing that should not be live. Still got Newstead in the band and all that. This was an, a local band in, in Tucson, Arizona in the late 80s. Dover Trench actually opened up for Pantera. Of course, you're going to have the Slayer Decade of Aggression, one of the best live albums ever. This thing is phenomenal. Look at that. It's crazy. I'm trying to whip through it. I see a lot of anthrax coming up. Some regular tapes, stuff like that. I've got another Black Sabbath reunion. I've got two of them. Um, I think these are actually live recordings of my heavy metal band when I was in it. But here we go. So we got some Anthrax, Live, The Island Years, Attack of the Killer Bees. This is such a killer little album. Oh, the tape's not in it though. That's a bummer. It must be loose. Attack of the Killer Bees, Persistence of Time, Sound of White Noise, State of Euphoria. One of the best albums, heavy metal albums, just absolutely amazing album there. It's kind of rubbed out, rubbed to death, because I loved on it as a kid. I jammed the hell out of it. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. So, I mean, you can see ACDC, Ball Breaker, Black Sabbath, We Sold Our Souls for Rock and Roll. That is a great album right there. Aerosmith, Greatest Hits, Pump. Uh, bought this when it first came out. Who Made Who, love that album. And the old white sets, man, look at that. Yeah, I mean, and, it, you see, and even hidden in there, there's more anthrax. Let's see, we got Dio kicking right there. Let's see, Dio. How are certain private parts of that movie when it came out? Just has some great, like, white zombie songs and stuff like that. 
Uh, there's that Dover Trench banding in. Some recorded albums. Pretty Fox, okay. This band never got much play, but they were freaking wicked. World War III. I loved these guys. They never really, you know, got mainstream or anything like that. They were an awesome, awesome band. If you get a chance to check them out, now you get into Iron Maiden, the first Iron Maiden album. Sorry, I'm getting hunched over here, hurting myself, I'm trying to stand back up. But yeah, there's the first Iron Maiden album. Right there, on cassette, boom. Check that little guy out. Yeah. Dio. Dream Evil. Great album. You see there, boom. Another great band, so sorry. I know I keep moving this around where you can't see anything, sorry. Because I'm trying to stand up. Bruce Dickinson, Tattooed Millionaire. That is a great, like, single that he did from Iron Maiden. I mean, it's an amazing album. Uh, yeah, boom. So awesome. Yeah, and you can see tons of Anthrax. Of course, I have every Anthrax album up to a certain point anyway. Um, Notorious B.I.G., boom. <laughs> Who Killed Biggie? Stomp 442. Atrophy, great band right there. Boom. That was a great band. If you don't know of these bands, look them the frick up. I've forgotten about this band. Apocra. What the hell is their name? I don't remember. I don't know. That's a good album, though. I know. I remember me like liking that. Um, you know, another metallic single, rare. Um, it's got Ain't My Bitch, Live, King Nothing. Um, the Ghetto Boys. <laughs> That's cool. All right, we're getting into the Maidens and stuff. Judgment Night. That's a great soundtrack, by the way. Look that up if you guys get a chance. Got some great tunes on there. Poison's there. <laughs> uh, Metallica Kill Em All. This, actually, this album actually have, if you try to buy the cassette now, here's what's cool. This actually has the two extra songs on it. It has Am I Evil, which we all know. And it has Blitzkrieg. But if you try to go back and... So this is the original cassette, right? But if you try to go back and try to get the cassette right now, you will not get Blitzkrieg or Am I Evil on the cassette version of that. Which I have entombed. This is a great band. They were one of my favorites, man. That is such a good album right there. Uh, we got ACDC. It's out of place for those about to rock. We salute you. Boom. How about that? There's my maidens. Alright guys, check this out. How about Power Slave, baby? Look at that. Iron Maiden Power Slave. Set. Wow. You know what? Let's open that one up. Why not? There it is right there. Power Slave. Original. Boom. Hang on here. Sorry guys. Tilting you around. But yeah, this is the day when you could open it up and you could get all the lyrics. For you kids that don't know that most cassettes, you could open it up song by song. There's the lyrics. You could read the lyrics as you jammed. There's some of the original artwork inside of Power Slave. Pretty cool, man. But yeah, you guys wouldn't know about that. You, you could open up your cassette, you'd have all the lyrics to each song in most of those cassettes. What do we got here? We got No Prayer for the Dying, that's a great album. I Maiden. Uh, let's see. A real live one. There we go. It's a live album, Maiden, of course, a live one. Peace of mind, dude, wow. I mean, that's an original right there, guys. Look at that, look at the color of that cassette, man. I've had that thing since mid-80s. Um, Die with boots on, so, yeah. We're just there, goods even in there. Seventh Son of a Seventh Son, I remember I had to change the case on this, I actually remember that. I lost the case somehow. What do we got? Don't even know what that is. Bone Thugs and Harmony. How about that? Alright, well there you go guys. Let's run through it there. Death Angel Act 3. Sorry guys, that's a great album. Look this up. Stream this album if you don't know who these guys are. They're a Filipino band. They are freaking awesome. What was the name of the song? I'm trying to think they have a badass song on here. Um, it is uh, Seemingly Endless Time. That's an amazing song. Stream that song. It's amazing. Another Death Angel album. But yeah, there we go, guys. So take a look there. 
I have actually more than this, so that's all I could seem to find, but there you go. You know, I mean, all throwback stuff, but anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. So there's a little retro look at some of my old uh, cassettes and things like that that I've had since the mid 80s, you know, late 80s, 90s, all through there in that time frame. But yeah, so if you're a little... If you're in the mood for a little nostalgia, there you go, guys. I gave it to you. So sorry I'm not out and about, but I will be soon. It's just hot right now. Even right now, I'm standing outside and I'm sweating my butt off. So anyway, be well. Do well out there. Hope you enjoyed the trip down memory lane. If you guys want to comment, I always try to comment back. I'd love to see pictures or comment about your personal tape collection, especially if it's heavy metal or like hardcore rap is awesome. Like, I know I even have some NWA or stuff like that on tape, but I don't know where it was at. I didn't see it in there. So I know I have another box or something like that hovering around here somewhere that I have to find. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I promise I'll have more traveling videos coming up very soon for you. So be well, do well. And until next time, Sir Blasphemy, 